Good evening, everybody. Our opening pitch is playoff softball. It's Ottumwa hosting Iowa City. Ottumwa would tie the ball game up at one when Madison Wiley triples to right field to score. Alexis Nelson, she would be safe at third. Wiley would score when Chloe Davis hits one back to the pitcher. Yes, it was that easy. Later, Alexis win, wallops one to left. Speaking of wins, Atumwa would win it 13 to three. Next up, the Bulldogs will face Muscatine in Muscatine tomorrow night. A win, and Atumwa is headed back to state. Two other area teams have also advanced to the regional finals. Fairfield beat Mount Pleasant nine to one, and Oskaloosa outscored Pella five to two, and EBF beat BCLUW ten to two, and EBF is headed to the state tournament. In baseball, Atumwa is still in the regular season, and the Bulldogs were home to face East. It's Cooper Smith on the mound for Atumwa. That's how you field your position as the runner is out of the plate. Atumwa's Chris Pettin would pound one to right field. That would cut the lead to seven to two. Then it's going to be throws gone wild, and Luke McDonald will scamper home from third base. Chase Wood brings home two more as the Bulldogs rally. However, it would come up short. They would fall tonight, the final 7-5 to five and 12 to nothing. In other games, Sigourney beat Kyoto 9-8. to eight. EBF clobbered Cardinal 12-1. to one. It was a perfect morning weather-wise for the Macon football team as the Tigers continue their summer workouts. The tempo and pace is much faster than it was last week. The coaches have asked for more, and the players have responded. No doubt about it. You know, it's our, I guess, our fifth day of camp, so the kids are starting to, to fit in, and they're, fi you know, finding their stride, if you will, and certainly we're a lot more comfortable with what we're doing right now. There are certain things you can expect in the summer, the Nemo County Fair, the All-Star Game, and the Truman State Individual Volleyball Camp. Over 40 of the best high school players in a three-state area will be at Pershing Arena for the next three days, fine-tuning their games with Truman State Volleyball Coach Ben Briney and his fine staff. All of the players are good, and they are looking to get better. One of the things we really work on is getting back to the fundamentals. You know, obviously we believe with our program that fundamentals of passing and ball control are very important. So a lot of things we work on are ball control related. 